So I'm going to make a lentil cabbage soup. I've already cooked the lentils. I cooked one cup of beluga lentils, those big fat Ooh, lentils. Yeah. I love them. Yep. Uh, just with an onion and some salted water. They're draining in the sink. I'm starting the soup with carrot, celery, onion. The cabbage of choice that I used is savoy. It's very quick cooking, very tender. Mm -hmm. um, and Curtis, I need you to put in some waffle fries because we're going to roll some waffle fries alongside. <laughs> Today we're just gonna add some super sharp cheddar cheese to the waffle fries once they're nice and crispy. And we're gonna serve them alongside our soup. So I'm just running a large carrot over the box grater. So again, we have carrot, celery, onion, one cabbage, down into our big old soup pot. We're gonna let the veg sweat. So we add salt and pepper to that, right, to draw the liquid out, the salt. Gorgeous. A little bit of pepper, boom. And then one of my favorite flavor combos, cumin and caraway. Oh, yes. I love cumin and caraway together. They really make good traveling buddies, and I put in a good mm -hmm. tablespoon of both or a palmful. So cumin is very smoky and earthy, and caraway is kind of woodsy. And, you know, you guys have had rye bread, right? <laughs> it's delicious together. It's a lovely little combo. Uh, and then we're going to grate in some garlic, of course, because I don't care what kind of cuisine I'm making. If it's in my pot, chances are it's getting garlic. <laughs> <laughs> we're going to add a little bit of vinegar. <laughs> A little apple cider vinegar, okay. a little acidity to the soup. Fire roasted tomatoes, so it tastes a little bit smoky because I have that cumin flavor in there and the caraway. So I thought they have a little tomato in their soup. I'll use fire roasted tomatoes. And then homemade or store-bought chicken or vegetable stock. Obviously, if you want to keep it vegetarian, use vegetable. Um, or you can use chicken uh, bone broth or stock in a box. Mm. Stir that together. And don't forget, this soup also gets combined with those beautiful beluga lentils that we cooked up with an onion. So now it's lentil, tomato, cabbage, soup. Super healthy. Super healthy, which makes us feel better. Oh, get the waffle fries. Whee! About the waffle fries. <laughs> when you eat a big bowl of lentils and vegetables, you feel fine about the waffle fries. So Chris, season them for me with a little bit of that. Smoked paprika. So guys. When the waffle fries are done, and I always cook them five minutes longer than the package, so these would go 35 minutes, not 30. Um, season them up with a little salt and pepper and pimenton, the smoked sweet paprika. Mm. And then, I told you, Canadians roll deep with the cheese curd. We're gonna take super sharp cheddar and melt the cheese. Oh, ridiculous! <laughs> okay. So we are going to take a little granulated onion and garlic and add it to some sour cream with a whole bunch of chives. And I'm going to also bump it up with a little dill and parsley. And then we're going to put this all over the waffle fries. <laughs> Those look amazing. Unbelievable. Here, pile some on, on the plate side of these doodads, OK? Use the spatula there. Got it. Um, I'm going to add in the rest of our herb mixture into our soup. I'm going to ladle up the soup. Oh, I wish I was alone right now. <laughs> <laughs> so this is our lentil soup with the fire roasted tomatoes. It's the cabbage soup with tons of vegetables, carrots, celery, onion, garlic, cumin, and caraway, dill, parsley. Gorgeous. And you, yes. And then we top our waffle fries with our sour cream, garlic, onion, herb mixture. Yes. Yes! yes.